In this video, we want to take a look at a really basic example of setting up named EIGRP, and we also want to make the point that a named EIGRP configuration is going to be compatible with a traditional EIGRP configuration. In fact, with a really basic configuration, it might actually be easier to do the traditional configuration. On router R1, let's set things up the traditional way, and we want all of our interfaces on R1 to participate in the EIGRP writing process. Here's what we can do. We can go into global configuration mode, and we're just going to set up IP version 4 routing for now. We'll get into IP version 6 and IP version 4 routing coming up in the next video, but for now, just IP version 4. In global configuration mode, let's start the EIGRP process by saying router EIGRP, and we give an autonomous system number. I'll use the number of 1. And to tell all of the interfaces to participate in EIGRP, I simply say network 0, .0, .0, .0. .0. And that's it. I'm done on router R1. That's the traditional configuration approach. Let's go to router R2 and set things up using the named approach. On router R2, let's go into global configuration mode, and we're going to create an EIGRP virtual instance. That's the top level of the named configuration hierarchy. And to do that, we say router EIGRP, and we can give Instead of an autonomous system number, we can give a virtual instance name. I'll just call this R2 Demo. And one thing I can do from here is create an address family. I can say address family, and let's use some context sensitive help. And we see that under this one hierarchical structure, we can configure an address family for IP version 4, and we can also create one for IP version 6. In this example, we're just going to do IP version 4. I'll say I have an IP version 4 address family, and I can specify an autonomous system number. We're going to have an autonomous system number of a 1. Now I'm in router address family configuration mode. Here's where I could give my network statements, as opposed to router configuration mode like we just did on R1. But here I can say network 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, again saying that I want all of my interfaces to participate in this EIGRP process as part of Autonomous System 1. And you saw that we had a neighborship form just then. EIGRP has formed a neighborship between R1 and R2, and they were configured differently. R1 using the traditional configuration, R2 using the named configuration. We didn't do a lot of bonus configuration here though on R2, we just did a really basic configuration. In our next video, we'll take a look at a more advanced named configuration that's going to support both IP version 4 and IP version 6. But if we want to do verification, our traditional EIGRP verification commands work. We can do a show IP EIGRP, and if I want to see any neighbors that I have, we can say show IP EIGRP neighbors. And I've got one, that's router R1. Or I could take a look at interfaces. All of my interfaces, thanks to that network statement, all of my interfaces are participating in this EIGRP autonomous system. Let's now take this really basic understanding of the named EIGRP configuration and do a more advanced example. That's coming up in the next video.